Howdy cowdies, welcome to a quick little weekly walkabout, the blokey auction we got this week. It's going to be a cracker. There's some really cool stuff to sell. Speaking of really cool stuff, look at all these. They're not the best pictures here, but there'll be images of them on the website. These are all MCC membership uh, tickets, little fold over little leather cards. And the earliest ones on the left hand side there from 1864 and 1865, it's a little bit damaged. Another early one there from 1883. 84, it's a bit stuck together as well, it's unfortunate. And all these other ones, 1890, 1894, 1895, 1934, 35. There's some ladies' tickets over the back as well. Should be really interesting to see what they sell for. They look to be quite rare. He's quite nice, little kangaroo over the back. He's a little International Harvester one there. He's got the marking on one side. And on the other side, he's got the Geelong Works. It's a lovely little Melbourne 56 enamelled Olympics pin over the back. You can just see the little red ribbon sticking up. Once again, there will be better images of these on the website, guys. Some lovely little footy, little Melbourne Demon stick pin there, and some old footy cards and cricket cards. Some sterling silver badges, uh, Salvation Army. There's another little kangaroo, little International Harvester one over the back there as well, but he hasn't got Geelong Works on the other side of him. This is nice. The, um, what is it? Alex Mayer & Co. Coach Builders and Wheelwright... Um, Materials. There you go, lovely little building uh, postcard there from Victorian Leicester Street and Carlton on the corner. It's a lovely, quite a rare ice blue Northwood uh, carnival glass bowl. Some fantastic risque playing cards and some lovely military postcards and ephemera. Got some really cool stuff, some great old Ford V8 badges there, nice pair of them. Some nice Olympic medallions, uh, Melbourne Olympics. Bronze medallion there, some Mack truck Bulldogs. Some really cool stuff in the auction this week. Olympics there from 56 Melbourne signed on the front cover by a lot of the athletes. Some really cool stuff in the little jewellery cabinet this week. In fact, it's probably going to be the last lots of the sale are going to be in there. And I'll show you some of the other A stuff we got this week. This is a really nice little oak um, chest on chest, little stacking sort of stationary cabinet there. It's really nice with an unusual sort of little locking mechanism, the little flaps on the side here that come across to keep the drawers in. Really cool thing. Speaking of really cool things, the big Coca-Cola ice chest. Fantastic thing. It's got no motor in it or anything like that. Not very hard to restore. Really, really cool thing. Kind of like a little red office chair as well. There you go. Nice little 19 sort of 40s, 50s piece. Got the original badge on the back there made by Remac. Nice little hall seat, little oak one there. And it's pretty cool, a couple of typeset trays in the stand. I've never seen a stand for the old typeset trays. Nice to see it all. Pretty cool, the old 1960s um, Australian military mess uniform there with a the jacket, the waistcoat and the strides. Heaps of boxes of CDs, stereo equipment, little miniature grog bottles, some beautiful old Akubra hats and things like that. Heaps of records this week, record players. Nice little box of albums there. There's a lovely chest of drawers. Nice little two-piece Rotel stereo system there as well. The old pigeonholes are pretty cool. Old Coca-Cola crates and boxes of stuff. Some lovely old fishing rods. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool little lot of record players and some wooden fish. Boxes of sort of motorcycle magazines and car magazines and toolboxes and contents. And there's a cool sort of big blowtorch thing as well. I kind of like this. It's the front of an old TV. Someone's put a Marilyn Monroe print behind. Really cool thing. It's got a little channel there and the little speaker box on the front. But it's just the front of a TV that's been made to sort of hang on the wall. Pretty unusual. Kind of cool thing. Lots of nice books this week. Military sort of stuff, Australiana sort of stuff, historical, some Coca-Cola cards, little um, fly fishing outfit there, it's a pretty cool old blower down the bottom, little blower attachment off a big blown 302 or 351 Windsor, pretty cool, the uh, American Civil War, little book and record sets, little two volume set there, he's nice, a little scooter, big Coca-Cola tin signs, a ripper as well. Nice little signs. The Muddy Inlet, five minutes away. There you go, a little jetty as well. And these are pretty cool. 
old sort of prize bull photograph. The Fat Oxen. Second prize. Royal Agricultural Show 1926. There you go. Fattened by Mr. O. Cassidy. He knew how to fatten an oxen, he did. <laughs> really cool thing. Another one here. Three prime heavyweight bullocks. Another really cool bit. There's a bit of damage on some of them, but they're kind of fantastic. And these are nice as well, actually. Little horse racing photographs from the Grand National Hurdle in Flemington. One by good old Green Cape and the Grand National Steeplechase. One by Giant Killer back in 1939. Nice things again. Another big photograph of a bull there. It's got the original little prize ribbon from the Wagga Wagga show. Well, it doesn't say who fattened him up. And nice as well, the Hopeton Steeplechase Flemington. There you go, and the Grand National Steeplechase as well from 1938. Another nice uh, original sort of horse racing winner's photographs. Big lot of surf fishing rods. This little table and chairs with the three extension leaves, so it extends quite, quite large. And this is lovely, the big heavy brass eagle. Really nice bit, got a lot of age to him. He's standing on a dome base. The dome base has got a thread on it. And there's also holes in his back wings and tail. Or he's been mounted to a wall or something, I'd be thinking. He's got a lot of age. Beautiful detail, he's fantastic. He weighs a bloody ton. More Coca-Cola posters. Big old cardboard one there's a cracker. <coughs> Little Coke straw dispensers, this little, this is a decanter, a little front end loaded decanter there, it's still got all the port in it. Little box set of cricket cards there and their point of sale. Some signed Harlem Globetrotter stuff. Dukes of Hazard wristwatches in their boxes, some cool sort of reggae stuff. Bit of Ziggy and Bob Marley. Abby Man. Old Coke bottles, Walla Gara, the sign there. Off to the right. Here's more cool stuff, some old motoring ephemera, Ford Cortina, got a couple of cool Rolling Stones albums over the back. Nice sports steering wheel there with a the Ford center badge on it. A little fire extinguisher out of a car and a grease gun. Some cool records, kids records, Coke phone. I really like this thing. Let me actually turn the wheels, a little bee flies around on the inside, but he's not very happy, he's got a sad face. Fantastic. Small things, eh? Some more cool kids' books and records. Nice little Donald Duck Skittles game. Can't go past the booby ashtray. Little dinky toys. Some Ford GT badges. There's heaps of cool Ford stuff in the auction this week. Heaps of GT badges. There's a dashboard coming up off an old XR GT. Train tickets. There you go. Some 351 Ford Performance badges. Cruisermatic V8. Ford GTS. That's probably off a Holden, actually, the GTS badge. More nice little signs there. Lybird Point, Owen Street, some old American number plates. Baco building sets are pretty cool. Speaking of cool, <laughs> little kitsch canister set's pretty cute. This is pretty cool as well. The little caricature there by an Australian soldier, Joe Garvey. Did some interesting stuff. I think he's got a bit or two at the um, War Memorial or up in Canberra. The box, a little caricature of the box of Claude Varner. Can't tell he's a boxer, can you? <laughs> Some more cool stuff. Little miniature lathe. Nice little wall-mounted black Bakelite phone. Little taxidermy fish. His name's Timothy. <laughs> little motorbike number plates as well. We've got heaps of cool stuff this week, guys. Heaps of cool stuff. Little gas mask up at the top there. Barrel of monkeys and some marbles in the bag. Do you know a river is only about couple of minutes that way and some more cool stuff at the end cabinet we've got a this is a nice old rolled up poster there from Northlands a sale at mine it's all screen printed original poster nice bits of pottery there the Chris Sanders and the Joseph Zyra lovely old uh, tin sign over the back as well all about angling licenses required lovely bits of glass and another taxidermy fish cool old diet sort of driving lamps and that's the dashboard there off an old XR Falcon GT Interesting to see what that does this week, and I really like the big Ford V8 Genuine Parts tin sign. And into the end cabinet, we've got some lovely stuff. Beautiful bit of English rail. There you go, a little line marker or something like that, just to show that the line's clear or not. Nice bit of trench art. Lovely little medical, uh, surgical instrument catalogue. That's a beautiful bit over the back, the Louis Icart original etching. There you go, I think it's called Snack. Beautiful bit, quite typical that he features 
usually a, 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 a very attractive young lass, always quite art deco, it's, I think it's dated 1927, and it does beautiful stuff, it does beautiful stuff, this is a nice little example, a little bit damaged unfortunately, but a good picture restorer will be able to clean it up, beautiful, beautiful thing, nice to see it. And this nice little fan, the Boomeroo refrigerated transporter trucks, a cracker. And this is a nice original little um, ink drawing, a little commercial drawing there of a Bedford truck with a Victorian license plate. The old Cadbury's magic card game. Another little um, commercial watercolour there of how much you can fit in the boot of an old Vauxhall. Some old footy ephemera. I really like the little shell plate actually. Really cool thing. Nice reference books on Asta Radios. And some more nice stuff up the top shelf. Some Melbourne Olympics gear. Some beautiful walking stick with the ivory hand on the little gold mount. And it's got some figures on it. They look to be miners or something like that. And this is beautiful. A riding crop there with a the heavy little chromed or nickel plated fox dispatcher on the end. Yes, it's what it's for what you think it's for. A really nice little deco trio. The Cox Racing Fuel tins. A nice little bit. Little melt. Little Australian ashes. Little pin dish, some more, fa more Ford Falcon GT badges. Speaking of Ford Falcon GT, that's really cool. The old number plate there from South Australia, XYGT71. <coughs> nice golden fleece tins up the top. It's a really nice bit of trench art, World War One, and the decoration it looks to be Eastern. So it could have possibly been done over in, you know, Gallipoli or Turkey or something like that. Interesting little bit. The Castrol Wakefield jug is a cracker. And some more nice little bits here, a little signed Australian art glass bowl, a lovely big Milton Moon charger. Nice little, I think it's a little fairy battle, a little sort of trench art aeroplane there, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And a nice little shell oil spout there on the bottle. Yeah, there's heaps of really cool stuff this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, you know the story, bad bloody luck. Okay.